Dr. Mankin reminded me so much of the friendly guy on the Quaker Oats box that when he told me the cancer had spread to my spine, the warmth in his eyes struck me as much as his words. You're going to be okay, he said. You're going to come back in an orange dress and we'll dance the tango in the halls. All right, I replied. What else do you say at a moment like that? I was 33 and I loved to dance. My oncologist knew I didn't want to know my prognosis or statistics about stage four lymphoma. I told him I thought that since no one had researched me yet, other people's data didn't matter. What do you know, he would ask whenever I called. What did I know? I had hundreds of choices to make every day, which treatments, whose opinions, and what attitudes might just save my life. It was hard work and it was daunting. I was afraid to choose or not choose the one thing that would make the difference, and I didn't know what that was. People often ask me how I survived, what I did, as if there's a formula to follow, and I so wish there was. But I always have to answer, I'm not sure. I was really lucky for the huge medical advances and love that carried me through my illness, and I had great care. But mostly I would say that learning to trust my intuition about what was and was not mine to know and do, this made the biggest difference. Cancer isn't routine, and no treatment is a promise. It may be a cliche, but life is a mystery. It was making friends with not knowing if I'll be alive tomorrow, and dancing anyway, that has made living every day of these 22 years matter. <laughs>